Yeah. Mason, go. I got that juice. juice. New AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Kanye's gearing up for another listening event. If all goes according to plan, Donda will arrive on Friday. But of course, you know, after several release dates and it not arriving, fans have given up on trusting Kanye at this stage in the game. Um, over the weekend, he shared an image of his childhood home on social media. And according to reports, Kanye is going to be recreating his mother's home. After taking over the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in uh, Atlanta for the last two listening parties, he has now set up shop inside Soldier Field, which is home to the Chicago Bear. So he's back in Chi-Town, and his team is actually building a replica of his childhood home in the middle of the field. This is pretty cool. You know, last year he purchased his childhood home for $225,000, and fans have been piecing together his whole entire creative storyline that has um, that he's been sharing throughout the listening session. His last event ended with him levitating up to the sky, so returning home to Chi-Town is perfect, the perfect way to drop Donda. Let's hope that it actually comes out on Friday. And while fans and celebrities celebrated and honored Kobe yesterday with messages on social Social media babies that were born on Kobe's birthday got a special gift from the LA Lakers. The Lakers honored Kobe Bryant's birthday yesterday by teaming up with UCLA Health and they hooked up some very lucky parents and their newborns with Mamba gift bags. Um, and a note that said, Welcome to the world. The swag bag included the classic number 24 Lakers shirt, a number eight baby cap, and even a little Lakers ba baby blanket. So, so cute. What a beautiful beautiful tribute. Um, you might have been seeing some pictures of Jay-Z and Beyonce floating around this morning. Well, they are starring in a Tiffany & Co. About Love campaign, which features the Carters in front of a private art collection with a never-before-seen Jean-Michel Basquiat painting in Tiffany Blue. The painting is called Equals Pie and date ba dates back to 1982. The executive VP at Tiffany said, we don't have, uh, they, didn't ha they don't have any literature that says that the, he made the painting for Tiffany, but they do know that he loved New York and he loved luxury and he loved jewelry. And their guess is that the Tiffany blue painting is not by chance. The color is so specific that it has to be some kind of homage. And the campaign actually marks a number of firsts, not only just seeing the painting for the first time, but also the inaugural instance of Beyonce and Jay-Z appearing alongside together for an ad campaign. Um, and Beyonce, this is so fabulous, wearing the priceless Tiffany diamond. You know that giant yellow diamond pendant? Well, she's now become the first black woman and the fourth person to wear the legendary stone since its discovery in 1877. So many reasons to love this campaign, especially with Jay-Z's uh, Basquiat hairstyle standing in front of a Basquiat one-of-a-kind piece of art. It's just amazing. And also, here's something cool. Not sure if you noticed, but Beyonce is also wearing a hairstyle that's very similar to her Deja Vu hairstyle from 2006. Uh, the About Love print campaign is set to launch in early September, and an accompanying video component will air on September 15th. And as part of Tiffany's collaboration, collaboration with the Carters, they have also committed $2 million towards scholarships and other programs at HBCUs. Absolutely love it. It's a beautiful campaign. Got to check the photos out. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Tuesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.